So, let's see what we can do for him today. Got my new jetter now, got a remote. That's gonna be sweet. Gotta tell you, that Spartan Jetter, the Spartan Jetter is an incredible machine. That's insane. I mean, whatever it took me 20 minutes to do, it'll take me three minutes with this machine. It's insane. And with the remote and everything, it's just, I'm like blown away. It's pretty good. Yeah, this is today. What we gotta do. This is nuts. Let's go. Still working on this van. Put some racks. So the house is over there with the American flag. We're gonna run the hose. Um, it's around the tree. I don't want to double park because the uh, the wind. You know, I don't want the doors in the back to swing around. So. Some tools. My battery. <clears throat> Let's take this baby right here. Oh. out that plug so water was coming up here so it is the lowest drain so that's your main I'm going to assume this is a trap right here why would they do that? I don't know. That's funny. So, here's the main line. Here's the plug we're gonna knock out now. I'll send the camera through. And see how bad the line is. Sounds dry.
That is a root, even if it doesn't look like, but it is. shift oh yeah it's pretty bad let me run the faucet it's not clogged but You run the water, you have to make sure you use cold water, otherwise your the lens on the camera will just fuck up and you will won't be able to see much. So if you can hear me uh that good, I have a mask on. Coronavirus mask. When's this water gonna get here? There it is. All right. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to address this um, with the jetter, so. Let's bring it. There's much down a lot. See, I gotta install something over here that can hold the door open. The wind can just swing the door. And that, uh, it's no good. Okay, today I'm going to be using this flusher. After I cut the roots, I'm gonna use this so just so I can push them out. And I'm going to be using the Warhog. This is all brand new by the way. I just got this jetter. This I used already and it worked great. I don't want to use this. This is the big Warhog, but the line is so poor, meaning the, the, the cast iron that this may get caught on, on shifts and things like that. So I don't want to use this for this situation this is an animal though when you use this two passes and that's it you're done no matter what it is breeze but for this type of job I'm not gonna be using that so I use these two guys right here and I should do it can you guys see me first I just finally in case he's wet Few of these. It's my remote.
It is raining cats and dogs today. It's backwards. Ugh. Hope that's waterproof. Sure it is. All right. They say the machine doesn't like to idle, so because he has a heat exchanger, that's how he cools the motor. So we're gonna keep it off till we're all set. I'm not gonna use the hydraulics. So. All right, so I use two type of towels. These towels right here are soaked on bleach, right? And those over there are to dry. Right now, these hoses are bleached up. And, but when they come back, I'll do this, I'll do this. So I pull it out, so I bleach them again as they come out. The war hook and the camera don't fit both in the pipe, so I'm gonna have to put the war hook and then the camera. Clean this up real nice. And now, just when the game starts. I'm not worried about that right now. Hmm. Look how bad, look at the separation here. I don't know if I want to mess with that root right now. Let's go get to the real bad one. See, if I go ahead and cut this root, right? It's just gonna go flow down the line and then get caught on that bigger one that's that we couldn't get the camera through before. So I'm gonna pass this and that's the problem right there. We're gonna go ahead and destroy that. Now let's not forget that when you turn the machine on, even if you put the the war hook right in front of it, once you one pressure hits the hose, the hose is going to expand, so you're going to pass that there. So that's why I always go back about roughly about a foot and a half. That way, when the hose stretches, hits the root right on. All right, I got my remote. Run to start. I think we're on. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. So let's 
just get water on. Oh yeah, give some pressure. We're running. What happened? What happened? I'm not sure. Hold on. Probably lost signal. I think you lost the signal. Let me put it close to the wall. To this. Right here. The batteries were dead. So. All right, let's go. Batteries on. Start the machine. Yep, I heard it. Let's bring the Warhawk back. Gotta work on that root there. A little bit more. Where's my bleach? There you go. All right. So there it is. Get some water. There we go, making progress. Wow. Give it a real 3,000 pounds of pressure now. Jeez, look at that. That's insane. Alright, on to the next. Let's see. This is our next customer. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that now. Hello. You ready to get killed? What on? This thing is a real beast. That's it right there, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's get rid of that little hair right there. I don't like it.
goodbye. Let's go to our next customer. Oh, that's a mean one. Let's see. Yep, right there. That's a big branch right there. That's, that's the city main right there. Yeah, it looks like somebody at some point did a repair. 50 feet away. The root stuck on the machine. See if I can get her off. Alright, so that's not attached to the pipe anymore. So, not worry about that. Yeah, this one here. See if I can hit that a little more. see how much progress we we have done some damage to these roots here oh. we're gonna get in there hit that again probably can hit that too got three oh that got a that one got away Let's see not worry about that not worry about that, not worry about that. Another one that got away, okay. 
All right, we gotta do some more work. We're about 10 feet away, and this is when things get, you know, a little, uh, uh, well, you know, about water coming back to you, you know? So, this is the time when I'll probably use the flesh, the, the flex shaft, and then just pick that root, and then just pull it out real fast instead of the jet, but I think we'll be okay if we cover the clean out with some rags. Actually, I think we're probably done. Let me see. Not worry about that little hair there. So, let me run the faucet. <coughs> Put the camera to clear it up a little bit. And let's see if we have to do some more work or we are done here. I think we're done. Forgot to that clutch. Oh. We're 39 feet. We got that there. Let me see. That's not going to be a problem for him. Uh, but well, we're probably gonna come and just cut that a little bit more. That's another one. Not worry about that. That's the repair and the main should be right there. There's the main sewer line, uh, 60 feet. Pretty happy with this. I mean, roots. The roots are gonna come back. For as long as the tree's alive, the roots are gonna come back. So you have to just control it by poisoning, uh, throw poison every six months or something like that. That's the only way, unless you kill the tree. But here in the garden state, government here is very tough with that. You know, they don't want you to cut the trees down New Jersey's like that, so. All right, so let's go ahead and cut that real fast. Let's see if we can cut it in one shot. Stand back a little bit, give it power. Thin. All right, time to pump on, give some power. Pump on, here we go. That, yeah, I can probably get that a little bit better. On. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You really don't want to be having that warthog messing around with this area here and then have this pipe collapse on you. So we're going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to do anything there. That doesn't look good at all. So.
we got this I don't think that's attached to the pipe I mean I don't think that's hooked to the pipe let me see that is like right here let me see I can probably pull that with the warhog Yeah, it's not even attached. It's it's not even. Yeah, you see, I can move it. That will go like if you flush a toilet or something. That will probably go. There you go. Let me see how I can push it with the camera. Get out of here. Okay, so I wanna go. There we go. There she goes. So now this is the cast iron pipe. Here's what happens is Past the foundation of the house, uh, it turns into clay. That's common around here. All right, so we're basically done here. I'm pretty impressed with this machine. I mean, it's pouring raining outside, and I am here all nice and warm, cozy. I can control the machine. So yeah, this is really priceless. This is really a good, good deal. The, the my truck is that way, about a hundred. Not 100, about 80 feet away, and I'm here working comfortably. All right.